Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is about taking a chance on your dreams and getting out of your comfort zone. Let's dive in. Hey, what up guys? Welcome back to another video. Glad you're here. Today's video, as mentioned in the introduction as always, we're gonna talk about taking a chance on your dreams and what you wanna do, what that entails, what that looks like, and getting out of your comfort zone. And in reality, they're one and the same because when you take a chance on your dreams and you really go for it, it is uncomfortable. It puts you in a situation most often where you're gonna be challenged, uh, maybe financial challenges, strains on your time, strains on your current relationships, uh, and strains on you as a person. Uh, I can't remember which individual I was watching or what I heard, but they said that entrepreneurship is the greatest tool for self-development ever invented. <laughs> and now that I've uh, really been into it, you know, before when I was a trainer and I ran my own business, I realized that I was just kind of having a hobby, <laughs> as they say. I wasn't really running a business, even though I did it for like you know, about four or five years privately, I did private training. I really wasn't running a business. I was just enjoying working out, kind of training people casually, but I didn't understand the business nature of it. This time I'm actually trying to build a bit, or I am building a business with systems and plan on scaling it and building a brand and all these things. And it is a challenge. It's a whole new set of skills. It's uncomfortable. And as mentioned a few seconds ago, it really is a tool for personal development. There's a saying that also comes into my mind right now that I'll share with you is they say that you never have business problems. You have personal problems that manifest themselves in your business. And I have found this to be true, 100%. That anything that your business is struggling with or why it's not growing, I mean, again, entrepreneurship, especially solopreneurship like I'm doing right now, like you may or may not be doing or wanting to embark on, it's you and it's you alone. So any problems, anything in your business that is or is not happening, it's all on you. It's all your responsibility. It's all your problem. It's all your opportunity to change it. And what often happens through at least my own experience, what I can speak of is that every time there's been a problem that has prevented itself or a roadblock and the growth in which I'm trying to kind of break through to the next level, I've had to look at myself and say, what am I doing or not doing? Where do I need to change? Where do I need to grow? Um, who do I need to be? What skills do I need to learn? All these questions I have to ask myself in order to get past this challenge and see this thing grow and take off because I'll be damned at this point, especially I'm, I will just never, ever, I never want to work for anyone else. I never want to go and just you know, slam a job for hours or work for another company, regardless of the benefits or the opportunity. There is nothing like being your own boss and having your own sovereignty and freedom. And sure, there are challenges and it does come with a lot of responsibility because again, it's on you and only you. But the freedom that you experience is invaluable in making your own schedule, um, you know, being able to be flexible with your time and once I get good at this whole business thing and I'm getting better by the day, I mean, you have an unlimited earning potential and that's what this is about. Most people go into business for themselves because they've developed a certain skill set as a technician, right? As a trainer or like, you know, whatever, plumber, electrician, accountant, whatever. And they go, well, I'm going to start my own web design business because I can do it better than my boss and my company. And so they start out as this technician and one of the books, the e-myth that uh, I've read and I actually need to reread, they talk about the switches. You have to go from technician to entrepreneur and also wear the managerial hat. You've got to wear all these hats. And many times we don't grow as business owners because we're stuck in the technician aspect. So I was stuck in the trainer aspect, but once I switched into the managerial aspect, being organized with my tasks and, and what I need to do on a day-to-day -day basis to move the business forward, and then the entrepreneurial hat, the third hat, understanding what the vision and what these managerial tasks and technician um, technical tasks are and how that's moving forward the greater vision things have really started to move forward and again it's a lot <laughs> it's a lot to learn so, you know i've had to learn content creation and branding and marketing 
you know, thank God I was already good at sales and training, so I had that down. Um, but yeah, I'm still learning a ton of skills. Uh, but I, you know, made this video today because a lot of people, well, a couple of things. Um, gentleman messaged me on Instagram and he was asking me, you know, he's like, are you really making, you know, money a living off of Instagram? I'm like, dude, you have no idea the opportunities out there. I was like, I'm making a living right now and I, I will make, you know, a lot. But at this point, like, I'm comfortable enough. Like, I'm not concerned about the money. I just am enjoying the process of growing a business, um, which is kind of cool. I've kind of detached from the financial aspect because I'm at least comfortable enough to, you know, handle everything I need to handle in my life. Um, but he asked me, and I was like, you have no idea the opportunities out there. And my mind's starting to expand uh, as far as, like, the money-making avenues and things you can get into. So, um, but yeah, the opportunities out there, but you have to understand a few things is that it is a chance that you've got to take, but the chance you're taking is on yourself. You've got to commit 100%. You've got to really understand that it's a process of growth and that it's not easy and that it is going to be uncomfortable and at times you're going to want to quit because I've had at least three or four times, like I said, I started back in April when I got back into training. I've had three or four times this year where I'm like, dang, should I just go back and get a job and go work for a company. I'm like, this is tough, man. I've been on the brink, literally on the brink of getting a part-time job or quitting or whatever. Um, but I stuck it through. I knew that I could do it and I wasn't going to give up even if I do, did go get a part-time job, um, whatever. The reason why I didn't is because I felt like that would be a crutch. And if I did, then I would be kind of one foot in, one foot out type of thing where I wouldn't be um, as motivated or invested in really, uh, you know, putting my time and effort into my business. So, uh, thankfully, and it all paid off, um, trusting myself, paying off, putting in the work on my business and investing also in myself has all paid off because actually this will be, this is December, um, of 2022 and I'm actually having, or I've had, this will be the, first, uh, the biggest month of my business so far. So the ups and the downs, all, all, you know, the challenges this year of growing and trying to figure things out and, um, you know, these different things, this is my biggest, uh, you know, month financially success, um, in my online coaching business. And it's only going to continue to grow because now it's like, I've done this enough that at this point, I just need to repeat the process over and over and over again and scale this up and build a team um, and the systems in place and all that. Uh, and now it, it's kind of cool that, I, like I said, I've reached this place where it doesn't feel like a strain. Um, it's it's like an adventure. It's, um, it's fun. It's like I'm looking forward to doing all this because everything that I've built to this point, it was a challenge and it took a lot out of me to really get the ball rolling. But now I realize that everything that I've been doing is just building skill sets. And all this next step is going to be is building systems and a new level of skills about managing teams and hiring people and things like that. Um, and really edifying my brand, uh, and my space about what we do and, and being able to help a lot of people. So I'm really looking forward to that. So, um, I'm breaking through the other side, so to speak, uh, excuse me. Got a long way to go, but I make this video for anyone out there who's thinking about jumping into something that they've always wanted to do or, you know, getting out of the career, switching careers or doing something that they've really, really wanted to do. And it, I just want to let you know it's possible and there's so much opportunity out there and the rewards are, I mean, even at my level, right, which is very low level entrepreneurship as far as um, success in the financial realm. Um, it's, in, it's just so satisfying. <laughs> it's so satisfying and it's fun. And I realize like it, I'm just approaching it as a game now and, um, everything's getting better. But in the beginning, it's tough as shit. You're going to be confused. Um, you will, you'll get into this place and you'll realize like, you don't know what you're doing the whole time. You don't know what you're doing. Even right now, I don't know what I'm doing. I like, I've know a little bit, but I know nothing at the same time. And you're always going to be in this space of like unknown. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. Where are my next clients coming from? Like, how am I supposed to build this? Like, am I doing this right? And it's just all these freaking questions. Um, but you'll start getting little, you know, drops of evidence that you're on the right track. Like, you know, 
new clients will come through, you'll start getting all this feedback or something will pop off on content online. And these are just kind of, again, hints that this is what you should be doing. This is what's working. So do more of what's working, right? Pretty simple. Um, but it's not easy. You have to commit, you have to go all in, you have to understand it's a long-term vision. You have to be willing to grow as an individual. You have to be willing to be out of your comfort zone. And for me, I mean, I've just cut off so much like social activity and friends and stuff like that. And that's a whole nother aspect that I've been thinking about. I was talking to my sister about, but what I realized for me is part of what I think is I'm experiencing as well is I'm just in a different headspace than a lot of my friends and people that I used to hang out with. I mean, I'm not interested in going out and drinking on the weekends, you know. I, I feel like it's it's crazy when I always, and I've always thought this when people were like, oh man, I'm, it's Friday, yay, it's Saturday, yay. But like, if you love every day of your life and what you're doing and you're free and like you're fulfilled and stuff, you're not really trying to, you know, you're not trying to escape the week because Monday through Friday, your life sucks. Um, and so you can go and drink your brains out or whatever or escape reality on Saturday, Friday and Saturday. I'm just not in that space anymore. I was in that space forever. And again, it was unfulfilling. It didn't bring me anything. So now as far as my social life is concerned, anyways, I won't get, I won't get into that stuff, but I, I feel like I'm, I'm elevating and I'm starting to network and meet new levels and new level up and meet new groups and opportunities of people. And um, I'm excited for that. And that's also part of my vision. But what you will notice, uh, the point I'm trying to make is that you will outgrow relationships. You'll outgrow relationships, um, you'll outgrow people, you'll outgrow situations, you'll outgrow habits and lifestyles. So it really is this level of personal growth and change that you've got to be ready for. The way you've got to think about it is the you that operates the business at the level that you want it to succeed at is not the same you and lifestyle and habits that you're right now, that you are right now. So you're literally shifting into this new identity and the old you is falling away and you're growing into this new person. As you grow into this new person, the people that used to relate to the old version of you are no longer going to understand or really resonate, or you're not going to really resonate. They're going to just see this old image of you and kind of be stuck to, oh, this is who Pierce is and always has been because they're in the same place, but that's not the case. So then when you are elevating, you're going to a different place. You, again, fall away from the old things that used to interest you. You're in a new level. The way you think, the way you <clears throat> move what you want to do, the people you want to interact with, it all changes. So you have to be willing to let go of people and situations and habits and grow. And again, that goes back to my point earlier in the video that this is a personal growth and a personal development journey. So be prepared for that. You've got to commit and go all in and understand that you're going to be leaving alone or, you know, leaving a lot of people, uh, you know, behind relationships, all that stuff. And, um, you know, Freudian slip right there, I said alone, and it is, it's a lonely journey. So if you're not someone who's comfortable with yourself and who you are, <clears throat> well, you're going to learn to be, <laughs> you're going to learn to be, or hopefully you already are, because uh, you're going to be spending a lot of time alone in your head, trying to figure things out. And sure, like I have mentors, I have business coaches, I have a bunch of friends that are on the same level and thinking of me and this program that I'm in is invaluable because there's a wonderful community and we all connect and I'm friends and I work out with these people and all this stuff. But at the end of the day, entrepreneurship, especially in the beginning, it is, it's a lonely journey because you are the one figuring out all these problems. Because again, you're looking at yourself and trying to figure out, you know, what do I need to change about my business? What do I need to change habit wise and do and blah, blah, blah. So <clears throat> it's a lonely journey. So you got to be comfortable with yourself, be comfortable with personal growth, commit and understand that it is a process. Now, it is a lot of work as well. What I'll say is it's weird. It's like, it's like you're not really working, but at the same time, you're like always working. So it's like, there's not, there will be times of acute, at least, and I'm speaking from my experience, there's times of acute stress where like, you're like, shit, I really need to, you know, get a new client or figure this out. Like, oh my God. And you're feeling this like pressure and it's a problem that needs to be solved right now. But then there's also this like underlying low level, constant stress and level of uncomfortability <clears throat> because it's just always there. So it's like, I'm never working, but I'm always working at the same time. And I will do my best to elaborate on what I mean by that. I work when I want, I can do whatever I want, whenever I want. Now I can sit around all day and do absolutely nothing. And I have that freedom. <clears throat> like if I get sick or something, okay, great. I can take it out. 
But you have to understand is that again, it's all on you when you're just starting out, you're a solopreneur. So if you're doing, if you're sitting on your ass all day or you're wasting time not doing anything, I mean, nothing's getting done. So, and no one cares and it doesn't affect anyone else but but you and your, your business. So it's like, you've got to create a schedule on which you're doing these things that are important to move the business forward. Um, so it's like, there's no pressure on you, immediate pressure. Like no one's looking over your shoulder going, get the shit done. You got a deadline and blah, blah, blah. But like, you're kind of like low key always on the deadline because you need to be moving forward and doing these things and no one's going to push you. So you've got to have a strong sense of initiative and uh, discipline in order to do the tasks that you need to do to move things forward uh, in your business. So, um, I'll say this as we wrap, we're wrapping up, literally coming into one of the second to last week of the year in December. And it has been a wild ride and it's been, like I said, challenging and I've wanted to quit at times. But again, for me, this is one of those little nods from the universe that everything that I've done this year, the chance that I took, and most people would have just kept their job part time or I had the opportunity to keep the job I was doing part time and then kind of ease into this. And I said, no, I have like a good savings. I'm just going to jump into it. <laughs> and um, I've, you know, wanted to quit this at times and question myself countless times. But here we are again, nod from the universe. We're two weeks away from the end of the year and I'm having my biggest month in my business so far. Um, after all the time and energy I've invested, after all the perseverance and overcoming the challenges. And it's so much more than the money of having like, okay, great. Like I am having the biggest month financially and that's great. Um, you know, the money is good and is important and that's great, but it's more about like the satisfaction. I feel that I trusted myself and that I overcame all the challenges I need needed to overcome and learned what I needed to learn in order to get to this point. So that even if you know, and I think it was, um, I'm listen, starting to listen to this podcast called the wealthy way by Ryan Pineda. And I'm literally only through halfway through like the first episode I'm listening to is the most recent one. And he's, um, interviewing this guy named Pace Morby, who's a big in the real estate space. And I know eventually I'll move into that space. Um, little synchronicity there, but, uh, that I was trying to, I Pace Morby stuff came onto my like TikTok feed or something. I was like, who is this guy? I want to start learning from him. And I couldn't remember his name. And then I fell onto, fell onto Ryan Pineda's podcast. And lo and behold, it was the first guy he was interviewing. I was like, this is this guy's name. No way. And now I get to listen to podcasts. So anyways, I digress, but a little synchronicity there. <laughs> and that's how things start to happen. It's cool. Um, but, <clears throat> oh God, now I lost my, my main point. Oh yeah. Um, and Ryan Pineda says, you know, he was saying, um, the cool thing is where I'm at now is if you took all my money away and I was dead broke, you took all my real estate away, it doesn't matter. He's like, the skills that I've learned and the connections that I have, I'd make it back or more within a year. And that's what they always say too, is that, you know, when you're a millionaire for the first time, it's never about the million dollars. It's about the person you became in order to create that million dollars. And that's what I'm doing right now. And that's how I feel right now. It's like, even if I started from scratch at this point and <clears throat> you took away, and I started from zero on social media and stuff. And it's not like I'm blown up by any means, not yet, but I'm not even a year into this. Um, you know, and I'm at just about 200 subscribers on my YouTube, I'm about 2000 people in on my Instagram, um, whatever, like it's growing, right? And I started from zero this year. And at this point, it's like, even if I started from zero again, I did start from zero. So the cool thing is I have this, like these skills and this confidence and this understanding on like how to approach this stuff now. And, um, it's just cool, man. It's, it's the best journey. So just understand, yeah, I make this video to understand what it's going to take that it is uncomfortable. And by no means am I at where I'm going to be, or even at a level of like acknowledgement from like where other people would be like, Oh man, this guy really made it. You know, it's like, I'm not even at that level yet, <clears throat> but I will be. And then people look back on these videos or when I'm sitting there and I have like a hundred thousand, 200,000 people on my YouTube and whatever. And I've made all this money and all this stuff. I'm going to tell them and be like, dude, go back to watching my stuff in 2022 and like go watch how I started. It was in 2022. And that's what I want to impart. And that's why this is part of my process is to document it while it's happening and share the lessons that I learned. And that also uh, I'll have a body of work and people will look back to it and be like, dude, go watch the stuff I was talking about then. 
So I'm going through, I'm growing through the stages I need to right now. So if you have a dream, go and chase it, go and do it. Um, doesn't mean be reckless, but be bold and take a chance, be practical and make a plan and strategize and just understand that you've got to commit. You got to go all the way in. You have to do a hundred percent. If you don't, then it's not going to work. Um, or it might, I don't know, but it's better if you go hundred percent all in. So give it your all, give it, you got, go do it. The opportunities are endless. The rewards are infinite. It's much greater than money or anything you could ever experience in that realm. Although all that stuff is going to be really cool. Um, and like I said, I'm just starting to taste that not even a year into my first year doing this, which is kind of cool to reflect and look back on, but I uh, hope this helps and I appreciate you. Uh, go chase your dreams, get uncomfortable, get into the personal growth journey, build your own business. There's nothing better. There's no greater reward. Um, it's a fantastic adventure. Reach out if you have any questions. Feel free to leave any comments. Uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Helps with the algorithm. We can get this stuff out to more people. Uh, if it was of value to you, it'll be of value to others as well. So appreciate you. Have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.